welcome mac in this lesson we are going to develop a welcome page you know display all of these from the database and not messy as such so the first thing we want to do is we're going to generate a new controller for this so act make controller welcome controller okay so if we go to our web.php file right now the welcome page is displayed using this function but we're gonna switch this out to welcome controller at index so if we go to the app http controllers we have the welcome controller and here we're gonna have the public function index and this is simply gonna return the view welcome but it's gonna return it with a list of all categories so i'm gonna get category all then it's also gonna return with a list of all tags so tags i'm gonna get the tag model to tag all and it's also gonna fetch a list of posts so with post and this is going to be post all for now okay so now if we go to the welcome.blade.php and this is a really huge file to deal with but you can always search for what you need for example if i'm at the top and i'm trying to find you know the category section i'm gonna search for categories and you can see that's the category section and here we don't want to have this list we want to have a list of categories from the database so we're just gonna have a for each categories as category and for each and then we're just gonna have this okay and instead of this had coded values we are gonna have the values coming from the database directly here i'm just gonna print out category name if i refresh call to unsigned method category call i didn't type call i'm supposed to type all awesome so if i refresh now great so you can see our categories right there name marketing partnership okay but our posts are still messy so we want to get rid of these so let me come back to my welcome.blade.php and to search for post we can actually just search for this title so in the file i'm just going to search for this title and there it is which means this is where our posts are so we want to delete everything except one that we're going to use as a template so i'll delete this also so delete this i'll delete this too delete this one and this is the last one so i'm just gonna let this one be so what we're gonna do is for this one we're gonna have a loop so for each of the post as post and for each i'm gonna paste that div right there this is a template for each of the posts that we have we're gonna post this and then here we're gonna post the category that the post belongs to so here i'm gonna say post category name okay and then here we're gonna have the title of the post so i'm just gonna cut this out and i'm just gonna have post title okay so let's check this out in the browser you can see here we have four posts that are coming from the database but we haven't displayed the images yet let's go ahead and do that right here i'm just gonna pass in post image okay and we have to actually wrap this in asset right so I'll paste that in if i refresh so we have our images we have our blog post next let's make sure we display all the tags coming from the database so i'm just gonna search for tags and great there it is so i'm just gonna delete all except one and then we're gonna use this one as a sample in our loop so for each tags as tag and for each and i'll paste this in and what we want to do here is simply display the tag name okay so if i refresh great you can see the list of tags that we have from our database and for now we don't need the about text so i'm just going to delete this section now for the top post i'm not sure if we're going to implement this but that would probably be a fun feature to work to do but for now let me just make sure i clean up everything that we're not using so right here we have four top posts i'm just gonna delete this or uncomment it just in case we decide to implement it in future so if i refresh 
Great. You can see we have search, we have categories, we have tags. Now let's delete all of the navigation bar items that we don't need. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll right to the top and here we have a nav bar. So everything that I don't want in the nav bar, I'm just going to delete. Okay. So for example, this item, this one, this one, this one, this one, I'm just going to delete all of them. They are all gone. Awesome. So here, this buy now button is going to say login. So I'm just going to delete this and we probably want to even just put in route login. Okay. I'm just going to say login. If I refresh right now, you can see it says login. If I click on that, if I'm logged in, it redirects me to the home. So let's go back to the home page and great. Now for the logo. Remember, if we want to fix the logo, all we need to do is import the file. So I'm just going to say asset image slash logo dark and asset image slash logo light. Awesome. So we need to bring in these two files into our project. So remember, we have a template right here. We just need to go to assets, image, and copy logo dark and logo light. Copy only both of them. Come to my public image and paste those two. Awesome. So if you come right now and refresh, you can see we have the logo right there, which looks like everything is working. Let me just clear out the footer. So I'm going to come back to the welcome.blade.php, scroll right down to the footer, and right here, we want to use the asset method so that the image shows up. And I'm just going to delete this. Or maybe, you know, Point it to the home page. And then right here, we don't need all of these items. So I'm just going to delete them, refresh. Great. So now we have the font icons, which is font awesome, not showing up. So let's find out why. Probably because we haven't linked to font awesome in this project, which we can do using the font awesome CDN, but let me check if font awesome is actually included in the theme assets fonts. We actually have font awesome right there. Let me see if they have CSS for font awesome. Yeah, probably want to move these fonts to the CSS folder so that the CSS files we copied should have access. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it right here. Awesome. So if I refresh right now, you can see that our icon icons are back. So don't forget to copy the fonts folder so that we have access to the fonts. Okay, guys, we've done a lot on the home page right now. The two products right here are coming from the database. We have tags, we have categories. The next thing for us to do is start working on the functionality. Like when we click on this, it should actually open up the post. When we search, it should actually search. When we click on this, it should actually show us posts only from that category. And we also need to make the pagination work.